everyone it's Ashley and I'm so excited to bring you my first process video for Ulta New. I'm excited to be a part of the scrapbook design team and I'm using the halftone circles stamp set for this layout it's one of the new stamps um, and I'm also using the reflection scrapbook kit um, so what I'm gonna do is mix some stamping and stitching and so I cut some circles that are just a little bit larger than the stamps um, my largest one there was three inches and I think my smallest one is one inch so I just cut those circles on my silhouette cameo just to be a little bit larger than what the stamp is and so I'm gonna trace around those with my pencil um, just to get a light trace line there for my stitching and I'm just putting the stamps back in place um, where they go for their coordinating spot and I'm just gonna get all of those traced with my pencil and move all the little cardstock circles there to the side. So I want to make sure that everything is where I want it to be with my photo. And you can see I've used a scratch sheet of paper to stamp with my stamps just to write down the colors of the ink pads that I have so I can see how those look. Um, I'm going to use several different colors on this. And I have the We Are Memory Keepers little stamp pad here that works really well. Um, you can just place your stamp where you want it, flip it back once you have it there, and then ink up your stamp. So here I'm using the Frosty Pink ink pad from Alta New. And this one's a little bit light, so it may be hard to see on the video, but it's there. <laughs> I promise it's stamped really well. So um, using this We Are Memory Keepers stamp pad, you can use it all around your page. So you can see I'm just moving my paper here to do my next stamp. So I'm picking it up and then I'm going to choose my next color, which is the Coral Berry. And just ink that up really well and make sure my paper's in place. And that you can see that I'm getting the stamp perfectly in place where my drawn circles were um, that I traced earlier. So now I have all of my stamps done and I want to get my photo in place and now I'm going to add the stitching. And the reason that I added my photo now is because it covers some of the circles and I didn't want to have to stitch parts that weren't going to be seen. So I just put that in place and now I can poke my holes with my paper piercer and I won't have to stitch those parts of the circle um, that are going to be covered by my photo. But I do always like to, you can see how I'm bending my photo up there a little bit. I like to make that last punch like right there under the edge of the photo. So that way um, it looks like your thread has gone under the photo when you really didn't stitch all the way under. So I'm getting some of my embroidery floss and I'm going to um, separate this. They're always in six strands for the embroidery, embroidery floss, but I like to use three strands um, when I'm stitching on paper. So I'm just getting that separated and I'm kind of coordinating you can see I'm coordinating the colors of my embroidery floss with the stamp, um, the ink pad colors that I have on the layout. So each one is going to be stitched with that coordinating color. And this is just a back stitch that I'm doing. And I always like to make sure that I have some washi tape there on the back to um, secure it so while I'm stitching it won't come out. And so now I'm just back stitching over that line that I traced to get my circle shape. And I'll do that with all of the circles on the layout and just use that coordinating color of embroidery floss for that ink pad. So now I've got all of those finished and I really like the way that that turned out. So now I'm going to work with some more items from the Reflection Scrapbook Kit, which you can find in the Alta New Shop. Um, and I'm using some of these little puffy stickers. They're kind of epoxy almost. Um, and I really like these because they're in the black, so they will go with anything and everything. And I'm just using the title Insta Love. And I usually like to always do my title um, backwards if I'm layering it over my photo like this, just so I can get it lined up where I want it. And I wanted to add a little bit of um, mist, so I'm just doing some splatters. And I always cover my photo once um, I have that on before the mist. So I've got that in place. And I want to get some embellishment. So I'm going to add this butterfly here and then I'm going to actually let um, everything dry. So now all of my spray mist is dry and I can work on the rest of the layout without worrying about smudging any of that. So these are like some little kind of die cut pieces um, on just some full sheets that you can use. Um, there's a mix and match of the pieces. So you can see I use my tiny attacher to put two of those together there. And I'm kind of looking to see what else I want to use on the layout. So these little um, buttons 
are so cute. I love these. They already have um, kind of a pop dot, I guess you would say, under there if you want to use it. Um, I didn't want the extra dimension, so I just removed that backing off of there. And then I just used um, some of my glue in my fine lighter bottle to um, adhere those to the layout. And so I like having those in the center of the um, stamp circles and the stitch circles. It's just another layer of um, dimension and interest. And I wanted something there on that right hand side of the photo to balance things out. Um, so I chose one of the little frames, but instead of using the full frame, I decided to cut it into pieces. And I'm going to add that as like a little sentiment, sentiment there on the side. And you can see that I had some trouble trying to get the sticky off the back. So <laughs> you have to work with it sometimes to get it off of there. So I'm looking at the stickers and grabbing a few others um, just to see what else I want to use. And I thought I would go back. Um, there's some sentiments that are also included with the um, Halftone Circles um, stamp set. So I grabbed one of those to add right there under my photo. And I'm going to actually stamp it with the Jet Black ink from Alta New. And the first time I stamp it here, I didn't think that it was quite dark enough. And so I decided um, that I wanted to re-stamp over that. And the great thing about these stamps and the We Are Memory Keepers um, stamp board, you can do that without it moving and get it in the perfect spot every time. So I just stamped right back over that and got it right where I wanted it. So this finishes up the layout. You can see my full layout here at the end and some close-ups. If there's anything that you would like to get, just stop by the Alta New Store to check out all the products. Thanks for watching.